Welcome back for another episode of the Content Classroom. I've discussed over the last couple of weeks how we're trying and using video content to create the basis for our newsletters that we go out and hopefully that makes a much faster process. And I have to say it's working well so far. Um, there's a lot of tweaking to be done on the on the chat GPT prompt inside to get something good enough that we can use um, as, a, as a starting point without having to rewrite too much. Um, but I'll keep you updated on how we get on with that. And obviously we'll keep sharing the videos as we go. Um, this week, I wanted to talk about the power of content and video content in particular over the long term. Something that a lot of people don't ask me because they've already answered the question before they get to me. But I know a big question that people have when they're considering video content is, does it actually work? I'm sure lots of you out there have worked with businesses that have employed outsourced marketing agencies and had very little success for various reasons. Um, there's lots of wacky ideas out there in terms of what works and what doesn't. And, and who knows, you know, sometimes trying those things that are a little bit strange, a little bit out of the ordinary, um, sometimes they will deliver the very best results. When I talk to people about video I always talk about the long-term benefits. If you were building, you know, if you're building a network, you can't expect to build that network in the moment and have it deliver right now. You've got to build that network, add value to it, work with people in it, meet people in it, understand them. And then eventually over time, that network starts to pay a dividend. I've seen that happen. I've got a fantastic network. I've worked very hard over the last five years to make it very um, dependable and flexible and lots of interesting people in there. I'm very proud of my network. And video content works in much the same way. Um, you know, the best time to plant an orchard was 20 years ago. The second best time to plant an orchard is now. So when people ask me about, you know, what, what the results from video content is, um, I tend to come across two sets of people, right? There are business owners who have probably left it a bit late or in a bit of a pickle. They need their pipeline to pick up and they're hoping that video content is going to be the solution and drive some really short term, really quick wins for them. Sadly, that's rarely the case. I'd love it if it did because I'd be in a much better situation in terms of business because I'd be able to say yes to all those people who want that. But I say no generally to working with people who are fixated on that because they've probably come to me a little bit too late. So if you're looking at video content and you're wanting results right now, you need to be doing other things alongside your video content. Video content alone is fantastic. It builds trust. It's a one-to-many relationship. You get out to your entire network and you showcase who you are, why you're credible and why people would come and work with you, buy your products and services. And newsflash, right? Most of the time, if people really buy into who you are and, and what you're about and they align with you and they feel like they can trust you and they know who you are and what you stand for and they like you, it doesn't matter what your budget is, what your price point is. People will make emotional buying decisions nine times out of ten. If somebody, i heard this phrase the other day, if somebody comes to me that has already decided on the price that they're willing to pay for the services that they need are probably going to be too expensive. And I think that's an interesting idea in that it's talking about whether people are price oriented or value oriented and without a shadow of a doubt, value oriented people who know what they want and are willing to pay within reason, whatever it costs to have that, they are the right people to be attracted. Everybody needs more of those people. But you've got to get them into that pipeline in the first place. As an example, I talked about this the other day. I had a, a, a meeting booked in my diary a couple of weeks back. Somebody who was outside of my network, I'd never met them before, um, but straight into my diary in a calendar meeting, straight from LinkedIn, had seen loads of my content and was convinced that we offered the right solution for them. 17 minutes in the call out of a 30 minute meeting, said yes give me a proposal we'll get it done i sent the proposal using the other 13 minutes that he should have had in the meeting an hour later the person had paid two days later he recorded video 
a week later, that was given back to him. That is the sort of result that everybody's desperate for. <laughs> and, and I wish I could box that up and tell you what it looks like exactly for your business. Um, got some pretty good ideas, but this is the culmination of a year's worth of work for me. And I'm out here on video almost every single day sharing advice and value and strategies and frameworks and, you know, my, my thinking on lots of different subjects. And it's taken a year's worth of pivoting, understanding the messaging that I'm putting out, analyzing whether what I'm doing is hitting the right notes. But most importantly, it's been a year of having faith that this will deliver the right sorts of results. Think back to when we first started doing this um, in February, March of 2023. I got quite a lot of immediate interest from people who kind of knew me and were keen to figure out whether I was a good fit for them or not. And that's the key point there. They weren't highly qualified buyers or prospects, right? They were people who were tire kicking and wanted to know a bit more because there wasn't enough information out there in the wild that showed to people what it was that I'm about, what it was that we do, why we're different, who we are and what we believe. Now, there's a plethora of content out there. You've got the YouTube channel, you've got TikTok, you've got Instagram, you've got Twitter, you've got Facebook, we're active on LinkedIn, on a couple of different channels, we've got the podcast. Um, there's a huge amount of information out there where people can, one, see my prices, two, understand what the packages are, three, decide whether they like who I am and what I deliver. Um, they understand that we're execution people and that we get things done and we're going to get things off your plates and stop the procrastination. Brilliant. So now we're at this point, I'm starting to see a lot more call leads. I don't work on volume, right? I don't need a lot of clients. So the amount I've got coming through is brilliant. We're working really well. And I want to help you to achieve the same thing with video. But today's message revolves around, you've got to have that faith. The same faith that you have in yourself running the business, and I know <laughs> there are moments we all worry about, have I done the right thing here? Should I even be in business? Is anybody, am I shouting into the void here? But on your good days, right? That's what I'm talking about. Your good days where you, you, you've won new clients, you've completed a piece of work, revenue's good, all those sorts of things. That faith that you have in the business got to apply apply that to video and stick with it somebody asked me the other week what's the minimum amount of times a week i should be posting video and they've been advised once or twice i'd argue no i'd argue it's two or three times a week minimum the reason for that and i heard a perfect explanation of this the other day is around behavioral science it's around making things part of your routine and, and building up Right, so if you think about the atomic habit, etc., you've got to find a routine for doing these things. And for me, if you're only doing it once a week, it's very easy to just pick and choose what day a week you do it in in the morning, which leads to procrastination, which leads to deprioritization, which leads to you not doing it. If you do it two or three times a week minimum, then you force yourself to get into a habit of doing it. You force yourself into becoming efficient at it. You force yourself into becoming productive. And because you're putting a little bit more time into it, actually, you're a little bit more invested in the results. So much like my wife pays for a personal trainer, and it's £100 a month, right? But she's really brilliant. Like, the personal trainer is brilliant. She gets my wife. Um, she's been there and done it all. And but more than anything else, it's that accountability, right? Like, my wife knows that she's paying £100 a month for this service. So... If she doesn't get the timing in the gym, she doesn't follow the diet plan, what are we paying for? We're chucking that £100 away and we could be using it for our children, we could be using it for holidays, there are many other things that we could be using it for. And I'm quite happy for her to spend £100 because I know that's what keeps her on track and makes my life easy. It's the same thing with you with video. You've got to have that accountability. You've got to have that investment, whether it's time, energy, resources or money, involved in doing it because if you don't you'll just stop when things start to get rough when you're not seeing immediate results back so that's my message for the day is video does work on living proof i've done it in lots of different industries for lots of different people now i'm seeing some really good results 
But you've got to have the faith in it. You've got to stick with it, especially when the times are down. And it's super hard because you're bearing everything on camera. When you're having a bad day, you look like you're having a bad day on camera. You've got to stick with it. You've got to find the faith. You've got to keep yourself motivated. You've got to keep going. But I promise you this. If you keep going for a year, you will start to see the results that you crave right now. So if you need results right now, go and do some other things to complement the video. But keep doing the bloody video because in a year's time, you'll still be in the same position if you don't. Hope that's useful. See you next week on our Content Classroom newsletter. And if you've got any questions, feel free to drop me a line.